Hi guys, welcome to my affordable watch collection. My name is Aviv and today we are taking a look at a smashing new Swiss made type A Flieger style watch constructed out of grade 5 titanium, the upcoming Swiss watch company Hyper G. This watch has so much to offer, you are going to want to stick around until the end of this video, so you won't miss any of it. This watch was sent to the channel on loan for review and I will be returning it to the company once I'm done with it. Swiss watch company is one of my favorite micro brands. Let me just put it out there. It is owned by the very nice Romer family, which as opposed to what the brand's name suggests, are operating out of the US. The watches are made in Switzerland and thus the name. This is the fourth SWC watch to be featured on this channel and I have to admit that so far this is my favorite one out of the bunch. But I'm getting ahead of myself. The Hyper-G is planned to be released in a few weeks and to go for 565 US dollars on SWC's website. Five colorways are going to be available, all look very good in my opinion. The travel case that the watch comes in is very similar to those of the last few watches I reviewed from the brand, but it seems that they keep upgrading it. It is made of genuine leather and has their logo embossed on the outside and on the inside. It has a pocket that stores your watch, three pockets for straps and tools, and the side pocket that holds the three years international warranty card. It also has four little holes that hold extra spring bars and you also get a personal note from the Romer family that has your watch's regulation report on the other side. Let's get the measurements. The width of the case is 40 and a half millimeters. Its thickness is 10 and a half. The distance between the lugs is 22 millimeters. Lug tip to lug tip is 48 millimeters. And on the supplied leather strap, the watch only weighs 58 grams. It is water resistant to a depth of 100 meters, which should meet your everyday needs. The color of the dial on this burgundy colorway is, well, burgundy. It has a distinct sunburst effect finish, which makes its color pop with beautiful shades of brown and red. There's a white printed railroad minute track adorning the edge of the dial, with loomed markers on the 5 minutes marks. After that, 1 to 12 large and bold Arabic numerals are printed with luminescent materials so thick they stick out quite a bit from the dial. The 6 o'clock index is missing and instead we have a loomed baton and a simple cutout date complication window. The date wheel is white with black numbers printed on it. Under the 12 o'clock Arabic we find the brand's name and logo printed in white. Automatic is printed above the 6 o'clock date window and Swiss made is printed on both sides of the 6 o'clock baton. The hour and minute hands are sword styled as typical with pilot's watches. They are faceted and highly polished and packed with tons of loom on their centers. The second hand is needle shaped, highly polished and non-loomed. If you've watched any review of a Swiss watch company watch, then you know you can expect outstanding loom. 22 layers of X1 grade Swiss BL10 Super Luminova were used on the Hyper-G. That will give you a strong and steady icy blue glow that will easily last through the whole night. Swiss watch company always bring their A-game when it comes to the crystals they put on their watches too. Just like on the previous models I've reviewed, the Hyper-G features a flat piece of scratch-resistant sapphire crystal with 16 layers of anti-reflective coating distributed between both of its sides. They also added a coating of sapphire on top of the AR to further help the durability of the anti-reflective layering. That reduces the reflections bouncing off of it to a minimum, which will allow you to get a clear reading of the time even in direct sunlight. The case is made of super lightweight grade 5 titanium. Grade 5 titanium is an alloy of titanium, 
aluminium and vanadium that is stronger and more heat and corrosion resistant than the more commonly used grade 2 titanium. SWC applied a layer of hardened coating which brings the case's protection up to 1000 vickers. It features a beautifully done mixture of brushed and polished surfaces where the tops of the lugs as well as the sides of the case are finely brushed and the chamfered edges and the fixed bezel are highly polished. This is by far the best finished titanium case I've ever seen. The side profile is slim, with a beautiful down curve to the lugs that will help the watch wear great on the wrist. The crown is positioned at the 3 o'clock. It is large and unguarded, gnarled for great grip, has SWC's logo etched onto it, and it screws down into place to help with the water resistance. Screw it out and twist up to hand wind the movement. The winding action is butter smooth. Pull it out to the first operating position to engage the quick set date function. And pull it out again to set the time while simultaneously hacking the seconds hand. The case back is made of grade 5 titanium as well. And it too screws down into place. It has the brand's name and logo engraved on its center with the model's name and the watch's serial number right below. It has some of the watch's key features like the water resistance and the fact that it was made of titanium in Switzerland engraved around the edge. And the interesting bit of information found here is that the movement is housed within a soft iron shell for magnetic protection. Giving life to the Hyper-G is a Salita SW200. This is a Swiss-made automatic movement that beats at a high beat rate of 28,800 beats per hour. It has 26 joules, it hacks and it hand winds, and has 38 hours of power reserve once it's fully wound. Swiss watch company regulates these movements to a stated accuracy of minus 4 to plus 6 seconds per day. The Hyper-G comes on a brown genuine leather strap. A really good one. It is soft and supple, yet feels strong with light colored stitchings. It features a lightweight titanium buckle matching the case, with the brand's name and logo engraved onto it. It is mostly brushed, but does have a nice high polished chamfered edge. I do have to note that the buckle is quite sharp on its bottom part. SWC also sent in an extra sailcloth strap for us to look at today. These will be sold separately and will not be included with the Hyper GS default. It has a black sailcloth top with contrasting white stitchings and a soft rubber bottom. This is probably the best quality sailcloth strap I got to experience. It too features a brushed titanium buckle with the logo done a bit differently. On my 7 inch wrist, <laughs> yeah, this one just looks great. The size is great and nicely proportioned. The dial just looks amazing and plays with the light beautifully, adding so much interest and appeal. The strap is a great match for this watch. It is also nice and comfortable and after a break-in in period it would be even more so. The second strap looks great too and it too is very comfortable. It is a great option if you want to take the watch with you for a dip in the pool, as it is more suitable for water than the leather strap. Legibility is obviously going to be very good. The hands and hour markers contrast very well against the darker color of the dial, and those 16 layers of anti-reflective coating will let no light interfere with you getting a read of the time. Let's take a look at the pros and cons of the Swiss watch company Hyper-G. Let's do the cons first. What can I possibly complain about with this one? Well, there's one thing I noticed and one nitpick. I did notice that the sharp bottom of the buckle tends to dig into the leather strap and in prolonged use it could potentially damage it. Other than that, and here comes the nitpicking, I think quick release spring bars on the strap would have been a nice addition. I know some of you might bring up the date wheel not matching the color of the dial, but I personally don't find it to be that much of an issue. This 
is hands down not only the best Swiss watch company watch I got to review, but the best watch I got to review on this channel, period. No other watch, and I have reviewed some great watches in the past three years, had this many great specs put together on a single watch. Where do I even start counting the pros? The super lightweight titanium case and buckle, the hardener applied to the case making it virtually indestructible, the sapphire crystal with 16 layers of anti-reflective coating and an extra layer of sapphire, the screw down crown and screw down case back, the anti-magnetic housing of the movement, the Swiss high beat Celita movement, the nice leather strap, that beautiful sunburst dial, the 22 layers of X1 grade Swiss loom, or the three years of warranty, you name it. I think the Romans really outdid themselves with the Hyper-G. If a pilot style watch is on your radar and the Hyper-G is within your budget, I can't think of a single reason you shouldn't jump on it and get one. The only question remaining is which color you like the most. Let me know what you guys think by dropping a comment below. Let me know if you think I've missed anything. If you want to check the Hyper-G out for yourselves, as well as Swiss watch companies other watches in their lineup, you will find the link to their website in the description of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my affordable watch collection and hit the notification bell for more affordable watches related content. You can also follow me on Instagram and get to know me and my collection a little bit better, get all the news about the channel and connect with me on a more personal level. Here are two quick links to my reviews of SWC's Bunker and Arc, two similarly awesome watches. I want to thank the Romer family for sending me this incredible watch for review, and to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you next time.